Hello everyone and welcome back to NG Innovation. Today we're looking at the modular ship assembler. Now this is a lot like the modular base assembly kit, except that I think it's less manual and more practical. So it's a lot better in several ways. I think it's more efficient. Uh, so there are five stations here, five terminals. And each one of them has their own color. The LCD and the button panels have their own color. So we're going to start at the red. And now the red is unique, it's not like any of the other ones. There are four buttons here. There's space projector, turn off all projectors, emergency stop, and assemble. Now the base projector turns the base projector on and off. That's the uh, the main ship. There's only one and so you can just freely turn that on and off. Turning off all projectors will turn off any projectors that you have on within the uh, the area self-explanatory. Emergency stop and assemble are the buttons that deal with the pistons. Now let's say I have the base projector on. Now when I hit assemble, it's a warning sound and the red lights flash. And the pistons will descend and start to weld. But I don't want that to assemble because that's just a little piece of junk. I don't need that. So I'm going to hit the emergency stop. And now whatever stage this is in of welding, the welders or the pistons will descend, the welders will turn on, will weld everything, and then eventually you go back up and turn off. But what, at whatever point they're at, you hit the emergency stop, the welders will turn off, and the pistons will pull them back up and it will stop the whole process. So that's the red terminal, and um, we're going to go through the other ones next and we'll see uh, what they do. So the modular ship assembler has just one base built into it, but there are 12 wings for each side, 8 noses, and 8 tails. So we're going to start over here with the right side. Now all these, the LCDs, all, uh, each type, each part, each component, has its own name, and then below it, any notable attributes it has. So, um, like bonus buffalo wings down there, they don't have, uh, anything notable, but Boxer has two medium cargo containers. And then um, each one, you see the dot, there's one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, each corresponding to a button on this uh, particular button panel. So I'm going to go ahead and hit War Command for those two turrets right there. Since I already know what all the components are, I'm going to assemble a uh, a pre-thought out design. And of course the base projector is on. But you can also at any time hit another one like um, Wing 2 Bomberman. There are uh, four and you can observe it more closely. You can see there are four missile launchers on the bottom so you could uh, be flying through space and then flip your wings up and unleash a bunch of rockets on your enemy and then flip back down. But we're going to go ahead and use this one. So then next up is the nose. Um, I need, uh, and you see it's actually not filled out completely yet. But the last one will be in there shortly. Um, here we have just a single LCD corresponding to all eight buttons. We're going to go ahead and pick, I want some guns on this, some machine guns, some Gatling guns, since I can't control the turrets directly as the pilot. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the third one. There are other ones, like you see this one has two drills and an ejector. And you can see those on the front, you can preview each one. And of course at any time you can go up and get a closer look. So next up, we have the orange terminal, and these are the same wings, same exact wings, except they're on the left side. And so I'm going to go ahead, and I could put the same one on this side and make it symmetrical, but since they're turrets, I'm going to look and see here's passenger seats. Sidecar has two passenger seats, so now my friends could sit in the passenger seats on that side and use the turrets on the other side. A little unbalanced, but, uh, you know. If you're flying in that direction, it can be pretty, uh, pretty
pretty lethal. And now again, since there's only eight of these, oh, they're all in one panel, so, um, I'm just gonna pick something I need fast, so, because those don't give me a lot of thrust, and I need to be, I need a fast ship for some hit and run, maybe, so. Let's see, check this one out. That one looks pretty quick. Um, that one. Yeah. Nah. So we look down here. <coughs> Excuse me. If we look down here, there are two guns. There's only four engines on the back. And if we look at all these, we got six thrusters on the back of this massive ship. And that's not good for, you know, a, a warship. So let's pick, let's go back to that other one we had. This one has these two large thrusters and a bunch of small ones. So this is much, much faster. Going to give us a lot more thrust. So that's what I want. So now we have all the components we need. So if we go over here. And, uh... Hit assemble. You can hear the alarm go off. The lights flash. And the welders come down. And the whole process takes close to a minute. We're just going to watch that happen right now. So it's gone through all that, and now if we take out a grinder, <coughs> this is the only completely, like, strictly, I mean pushing the button does a manual too, but you have to grind this merge block off. Perfect. And now our ship is complete and attached. Back this up. Be sure not to hit the rocks back here. Awesome. And now we have completed our first ship. And slightly um, off kilter, and that will occur. There are always going to be thrusters on every side. <coughs> so there will always be thrusters facing in every direction, but uh, a lot of the times, well, sometimes, if you don't plan things right, you might end up with thrusters that are unbalanced, which isn't a problem. So if I want to go in this direction and then try and then turn that way, I'm going to drift for a while. But if I just put my large thrusters facing that way, then uh, then I'm good and I slow down pretty quick. If we go and float over here, and get in the passenger seat, and then find the turret. And each um, component inside the ship is designated with where it is. So like, the, both the turrets are labeled R wing 1 and 2 because they're both in the right wing. So here we go ahead and control that. And fire round out the planet there. So, head out of there. And uh, there's our ship that we made. And that's how you use the modular ship assembler. I'm going to go ahead and make one more ship here. But, um, go to the workshop and try it out for yourself. See what you like. Look at all the different combinations. If you want to have the same pair of wings on both sides, so the ship is symmetrical. There are 768 possible combinations for you to have. And uh, if you don't care about symmetry, if you want to have or are okay with having different wings on both sides, there are actually over 9,000 possible combinations you can have. Possible ships to make using all the different parts. So please go try it out and uh, comment if you like it, hate it, whatever. Let me know. 
thank you for watching.